the weather is warming up and it's time to get outside, I'm gonna give you a look at all the parks projects we've got in the pipe, plus a sneak peek at a ton of summer fun. That's all this time on The View. Hey everybody, I'm Brian with the City of Mont Bellevue, and we have a lot to cover in this episode. So I wanna jump right in and start with where I'm standing right now. Just recently, we broke ground on Hackberry Park. This park was first proposed in 2016, and it was supposed to be a 20-year project. Now, thanks to the need for dirt due to the construction of the Grand Parkway and other developments, this park is being built right now. Hackberry Park is 200 acres, and it features almost 70 acres of ponds. The plan for this park is to have it be the hub of outdoor activity for the area. That means hiking and kayaking, canoeing, fishing, and a whole lot more. Not only that, it's going to provide much needed stormwater detention when large weather events happen. The plan is for phase one to open by the end of 2022, so you and your family can come on out and start playing in this park. And before you jump into the comments, we hear you. You want a dog park. We're hoping to have one as a part of Hackberry Park, opening at some point in 2023. I've said it before, City Park is the heart and the hub of our community. But just like the rest of Mont Bellevue, it has to grow. But don't worry, we've got a plan for that. Phase two of City Park is under design now. It includes five new softball fields, a soccer field, much requested covered basketball courts, and four sand volleyball courts. And yes, more parking. In fact, over 250 new parking spaces. And the design of Phase 2 helps spread activity out. That's really going to help on those busy nights and weekends. Here at the end of Canal Street is Joe Matthews Park. Now, it's a city park that not too many people know about, but we've got big plans and it's about to see some really awesome changes. Just take a look. Joe Matthews Park features big, beautiful trees and is nestled right up against the Lost River. The park will be updated with an improved baseball field and basketball court, plus a new pavilion and playground that features a butterfly garden. But the biggest feature is the addition of a kayak and canoe launch. Now residents can enjoy the old river as a blue trail that leads all the way out to Lost Lake. The update to Joe Matthews Park is made possible by a grant from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Construction begins this summer. All right, we've covered the future of our parks, but you want to know what's now. The good news is a lot. It is time to say hello to summer with our brand new Parks and Recreation Activity Guide. If you live in the city, it's headed to a mailbox near you. This thing is full of camps, events, and information you don't want to miss. It should show up soon, or you can check it out online at montbellevue.net slash summer. And grown-ups, we've heard you. We're going to have one of our famous dive-in movies geared more towards you. Mark your calendars for July 16th while we show the classic Jaws while you float in the Eagle Point wave pool. I'm gonna need a bigger tube. It is gonna be a super summer, and before you know it, we'll have more ways to enjoy the outdoors. That pretty well wraps it up for this time. I'll see you next time on The View.